Hey everyone, it's Michael here with goodyreader.com and today I'm going to give you a review of the Amazon Kindle Cloud Reader. So this has been around for almost a decade. It was initially developed because Apple implemented a system that had any in-app transaction went through Apple instead of the provider. Before that Apple policy, everyone could just basically charge through the app and they capture the entire payment. Once, you know, Amazon d decided to pull the ability to, you know, buy apps through the Kindle app for the iPhone and iPad, they developed this. And this was a way that you could, you know, basically read in the Safari web browser. If you click on the Kindle store, you're actually brought to the website. You can buy books and then they would be synced in a web browser, Safari. But it's really changed since then. It's, it's basically turned into an e-reading solution that's browser based that will work in any browser whether you're on a Mac, PC, a tablet, a Windows device, a Blackberry, any type of um, you know sort of web-based solution you can do it and many people read books while they're at work or while they're at school and chances are that the system administrators would not block this type of software so you can actually read while you're at school or you're at work and so on it basically works with any web browser is what I'm saying let's look at the interface and kind of show you what this brings to the table first of all Kindle logo here looking a little bit pixelated you click here it'll show you your notes and highlights for all the books that I've made no look you know uh, notes and highlights for you have a gearbox here basically terms of use and so on this is a sync button so if I've actually made any purchases while visiting the Kindle store it will sync them here and then if you have a huge library you know with like hundreds of books you can search for a particular book there you can adjust how large you want the book cover arts to be but as you can see when we turn it up to the max and all the books here look really pixelated even the word samples pixelated but if you sort of turn it down here it becomes a little bit less pixelated but overall I've noticed that all of the cover art here and I'm on a, a 4k monitor so this should look better anyways these are all the books that are stored in a cloud if I click downloaded these are the books that I've actually downloaded to my PC you can search by a, you know sort of a grid view here or a list view and on the list view it says you know sample instead of just saying sample on the book and as you can see here this is you know basically none of these cover arts are basically pixelated it looks really good you can search by recent author or title and it's time to look at a book okay so as we're here in a book, let's take a look at the book interface. The library menu brought you to the menu that we basically were at for the introduction of this video. You can click here to look at the cover, table of contents, the beginning of the book, so it'll be the forward, a specific page, or a specific location. I'm not really too sure how relevant location is like how how does this really how do, how do people even know what this means I mean I don't know what it means let's go to page I don't know 200 okay so when you initially load up the Kindle Cloud Reader and it does maintain all of your settings to, you know if you visit this on at home on you know I'm on Firefox and then I load it up on Chrome later you know I'm all logged into my same account so all of your settings would be preserved they don't suddenly default back to normal as you change options here they're not live on the screen but they are in a preview window so you can kind of get a sense on the fonts so let's just keep things as they are now you can change the margins now it doesn't give you a preview of the margins but as you can see it depends on if you're on a mobile device like a, a, a smartphone or if you're on something that's more of a portrait smartphone or if you're on something like you know maybe a tablet but since we're on like a computer we sort of want all the text to be sort of edge to edge at least that's my preferred reading layout we do have color mode white 
sepia, and black. So inverted background is black, text is white. We can just uh, kind of bring it back to white. The one column view, and then this is dual screen. So right now, as you can see, that the text is a single page, forward to backward. We can put it on dual mode so you can see what that looks like. Now, as you can see, that it more or less looks like a book experience. You can turn pages by clicking these options here. And as you can see, when we did that, all of the UI elements disappeared. So you can get more immersed in a particular book. Now, this is good for touchscreen interactions. These work, but you can also click on them with the mouse. Uh, it also has an infinite scroll system. So you can actually scroll down on the mouse. Or you can scroll up and so on. Uh, pretty useful overall. Let's go back to the single screen uh, menu here. You know, reading on something like this uh, is something ideal. Uh, one thing that I noticed is if you're trying to do the infinite scroll system, uh, you can't do it right away. Uh, you need to sort of click on the center of the screen. Let's go back to the table of contents because those were a bunch of pictures. And we'll go to chapter six. Now, let's see that, you know, this person's name, Madeline. I can highlight that if I want to. Uh, you can't choose the highlight colors. There's just one highlight color, which is the traditional sort of highlightish kind of color. Uh, you can also write notes. So you can double click on the word and then you can actually read a definition of that word and then the full definition. There's multiple dictionaries here. If you have other dictionaries that you've installed from Amazon, those will also appear here. And I could write a note. A very apropos note. And then again, if you visited like the home screen and then, you know, wanted to uh, look at, you know, know, your notes and stuff like that, it'll bring you back to the Amazon website to do that. So this is basically the Kindle Cloud Reader experience. It's a very basic uh, program. It's not too overly complicated. Uh, things I like about it is that if you're on grid view, all the cover art looks good. But if you're on like this view it tends to look more pixelated but you can fit more content on the screen at once and if you turn it up to the max it just it looks terrible i i don't like the fact that on a modern sort of browser based solution that you're diverted to the amazon store to make purchases uh, the same thing is uh, evident on Amazon Kindle for PC on a previous video. Uh, do you use the Amazon Kindle Cloud Reader? Drop a comment below and forgettingreader.com. My name is Michael and everybody take care.